The Colorado River system has been an integral part of the San Diego region for nearly a century. With no major local sources of fresh water of its own, San Diego partnered with its neighbors to the east in the Imperial Valley to secure a safe and reliable transfer of water, which now accounts for about one-third of San Diego County's water supply. This transfer of water became the cornerstone of the 2003 Quantification Settlement Agreement, or QSA. This set of agreements has enabled California to live within its historic 4.4 million acre-foot allotment of Colorado River water and has helped maintain peace on the river between basin states. It has also provided both a mitigation and a restoration path forward for the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea is California's largest inland lake crossing both Imperial and Riverside counties and serving as an important stopover for migratory birds along the Pacific Flyway. In its present form, the sea was created when an agricultural levee broke in 1905 and flooded the Salton Basin. But the hydrology of the basin predates modern California history and has naturally flooded and receded time and again since ancient times. Today, this 340 square mile lake is mostly fed by local runoff from farms in the Imperial Valley through the New, Alamo, and Whitewater Rivers. The sea has been plagued by environmental struggles for decades preceding the QSA because as a terminal lake, it has no natural outlet, causing salts and nutrients running off the agricultural land to build up and negatively affect fish populations. In 2003, QSA legislation established that restoration of the sea would be led by the state to address these long-standing issues. The QSA not only called on the state to carry out a restoration program for the Salton Sea, it also established a separate program by which a Joint Powers Authority, JPA, made up of the San Diego County Water Authority, Imperial Irrigation District, Coachella Valley Water District, and the state, would fully mitigate the discrete impacts to the sea due to the QSA water transfers. These two programs, the state's restoration program and the QSA JPA's mitigation program are working on two separate but complementary goals to protect this important resource and the surrounding community. Through statute, the QSA JPA was tasked with providing $288 million in mitigation funding over the life of the QSA water transfers. The state is responsible for all mitigation costs beyond that mark. The JPA water agencies have met all mitigation obligations to the Salton Sea to date. As part of the mitigation, a program was established to provide 15 years of bucket-for-bucket -bucket replacement water to the sea to account for reduction of runoff due to the water transfer from Imperial Valley to San Diego. A total of 800,000 acre-feet of mitigation water, paid for by the QSA JPA, has been delivered to the sea to maintain salinity and shoreline levels. That 15-year program ended in 2017 and is being replaced with a robust air quality program. The Imperial Valley already faces serious environmental and human health issues due to pre-existing dust pollution from the desert region. The Air Quality Mitigation Program includes air quality monitoring and projects to control potential dust from exposed areas around the sea. Projects include surface roughening, vegetation enhancement, and surfactant application. These and other projects have already begun to ramp up under an environmentally sound air quality program, providing a more permanent means of addressing mitigation. The state's restoration program has followed another story. While the state has been slow to implement a restoration program, with their efforts derailed by a $9 billion preferred restoration plan in 2007, momentum has again started to build. Under Governor Jerry Brown and with persistent lobbying by the JPA water agencies, today the state appears to be advancing its restoration plan. In an effort to strengthen the state's restoration program, the Water Authority, Imperial Irrigation District, Imperial County, along with the state and environmental organizations, developed revisions to the State Water Resources Control Board water order that established key requirements, including annual milestones for the state's program, a deadline to develop a long-term project plan, and continuing oversight of restoration efforts by the State Water Board. The Water Resources Control Board approved the revised order on November 7, 2017. Under the new order, the state is required to provide nearly 30,000 acres of restoration projects over the next 10 years, which are estimated to cost just over $400 million. Though restoration is a state responsibility, the QSA JPA water agencies provided $67 million as seed money to jumpstart restoration projects. In addition, Proposition 1 provided $80 million towards the Salton Sea Management Program enabling restoration work to begin. Proposition 68, passed in June 2018, provides an additional $200 million for the sea. 
While the effort to secure additional funds must continue, the state has now taken the first steps to live up to the promises it agreed to in legislation passed 15 years ago. And while mitigation and restoration are two separate issues, they can and will work hand-in-hand -hand to ensure the sea has a successful future.